Hey everybody, I'm Lance Goyke. Today I want to give you some tips for working out while traveling. Now, there's two major things here. One, you can find a way to do a workout in your home that doesn't require any equipment or maybe requires the limited equipment that you have available to wherever you're staying. I say home because I'm about to go to my parents' house and I have equipment there. Um, but uh, sometimes, here's another example. I went to my girlfriend's house last year for Thanksgiving and there wasn't really that much equipment there. There was a bike and I did, I was able to use that, but for the most part, I had to do little circuits of just body weight exercises. So I did some walking lunges and I did some push-ups, and I just repeated them for 20 or 25 minutes. And that was my workout. And I got really sweaty and my legs got tired. It was good. Um, so that's option one. Option two, arguably the better option and maybe the more serious option, especially if you have very serious training goals, is to do a Google search, look ahead where you're staying, and try to find a gym nearby. Scope it out, look, pick out whatever one seems like it'll have the equipment that you're looking for, and try to find out how to get a day pass, or a week pass, perhaps. Or depending on how long you're gone, maybe a month pass they'll do for you. What this does is it just it derails you less. So if you have a program that you're working on and you, you have to travel somewhere and you lose all your equipment, then you can't work on that program anymore. You can't continue to make progress on that program. So ideally, you want to stay on that program so you can keep the goal of that program the goal of your training. A great way to do that is by finding a gym and just saying, hey, I'm going to go here at this time. So you got to be able to kind of plan ahead and know what to expect here if you're going to be able to make that happen. But a little bit of planning will go a long way.